A cultural tax on Netflix. Welcome back to Barn J Music. My name is Barney. I'm a classical composer and founder and director of Barn J Music. My fellow classical artists, keep in mind classical arts, of course, is music, theater, dance, literature, visual art, but it could also be math, science, philosophy, anything where you have an appreciation for the past and what it was great, but we're not addicted to the past, and you are obsessed with beauty and truth over utility. Before we begin, let's listen to some fantastic music. All right, so a cultural tax on Netflix, how crazy? Well, listen, times are crazy, okay? So, I'm 35. I have recently realized that I probably will never have a family. Okay, it's too late now, okay? I spent my whole life in school, often working, but I have no savings, okay? So I'm 35, and I'm assuming I'll live to my 70s or 80s, maybe 90s, who knows? And I cannot imagine that I'm going to spend the rest of my life working in the bank or working somewhere that I don't want to be. And I think a lot of us in the classical arts industry are feeling the same, okay? We need to find ways to make it and not just make it, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, but that we can actually participate in society, be able to buy houses, be able to go on vacation, and to really enjoy our lives doing what we love, okay? I think we need to consider or go forward with a cultural tax on Netflix for two reasons. First, I think Netflix is a bastion of social hedonism. Yeah, I said it. I, how could you say this? Yeah, I said it. Okay. I think the vast majority of content I see on Netflix, or that's at least promoted on the homepage, is just, I can't show my kids that. Now, I don't have kids. Okay. I'm not going to have kids because I was in school for so long. Okay. But if I had kids, I couldn't show them this stuff. Okay, there's always some agenda, you know, it's always just a, so miserable. I think it's time that we go back to the classical arts, okay? So imagine if we could tell our parents, okay, the parents in America, okay, instead of having to, you know, put on Netflix and like cover your kids' eyes and be like, oh, don't, don't, don't listen to that. Imagine if you could invite them to the local opera, okay? You could go to the opera. Imagine if we had children's operas. OK, imagine if you could take them to the ballet. OK, or maybe we could have lecture series. Of why is ballet beautiful? OK, why is my look at modern dance? Modern dance is extremely accessible. I don't know how it hasn't caught on. Imagine if we could take them to art exhibits or we could do something that is actually beautiful and engaging. In addition, I think a lot of us are sick of being stuck on our computers and it is definitely contributing to the mental health crisis in America. So imagine instead of saying, oh, go online, go online, as if that's the answer to our problems. Imagine if we could say, well, no, let's go to the cultural center, okay? So that brings me to my vision for the cultural tax. I think this cultural tax needs to be distrib distributed equitably, okay? So gone with the tyranny of just dumping money into New York City and to San Francisco that already has some amount of culture, not enough, okay? And I think, for example, if you studied in a conservatory and you want to move back to your hometown in Ohio, you should be able to do it and get full-time work. OK, so I think the money needs to be going to regional opera companies it needs to be going to regional dance companies, regional modern dance companies. Now, uh, my other issue with Netflix is that they gained a lot of money under the pandemic. OK, so certain industries disappeared under the pandemic, like the cultural 
industry, okay? I have friends that have a doctorate in music and left the field of music under the pandemic because there was no work and they were sick of the economic nightmare that they were already being subjected to, okay? I think this is really unfortunate, okay? We have only one life to live and if someone has something beautiful to do, they should be paid to do it and paid beyond a living wage because a living wage is now starvation wages. Now, the question is not whether or not there will be a cultural tax on Netflix. It definitely is coming. There's going to be a cultural tax on Netflix. We're going to make it happen. The question is, what other companies have benefited from the pandemic at our behest, took our jobs, and need to be taxed as well so we can fund the culture? And what is the percentage of their profits that is going to this cultural tax? Have a great day.